All right, we're at the Cypress Mountain, the start of the House Sound Crest Trail. It's 825, and this is the, the start. And then we walk up this way and to the left. No, you ready? Yeah. Let's take a look at this one. So it's this way right here. Oh my god, bro does hang it on there. So 300 meters up, come to a water tower, and we go right. Thank you. 2K! Okay. Woo! 2K in. Good little jogs and runs and walks. Woo! Feel pretty good. I've been sick for a few weeks, so feeling that. But happy I'm out here with my brother. Woohoo! Wow, look at that. 1350 on the watch. 1370 on the thing. Oh, that's right, the summit. So, climbing down from St. Mark's summit into the middle back into uh, climbing up Unnecessary Mountain. Had a nice little break. Lost the trail, found the trail. And now we're back on the right spot thanks to Mikey's map finding skills. This is what trail is. Six K in, and now we're beginning our climb up to Unnecessary Mountain. climbing up a necessary mountain from the middle bottom to the summit there's about just under 500 meters of gain Just coming up to Unnecessary Mountain. We had a nice pace coming up. And now we'll take a small break up at the summit. Enjoy the views. Nice, Mikey. Are you okay? Oh yeah. Beautiful views. We got lucky today. Fifteen thirty-eight. Yeah, you can see west and east line 
Brunswick Mountain, and in the far distance, Mount Garibaldi. And there's the West Line. Just about 10 kilometers in. We're gonna get to the base in just a few minutes and then work our way up to the summit, enjoy a nice lunch, and then keep on the House Sound Crest Trail and start to make some good time. So we've reached the base of the West Line. Now just gonna kick some butt down the rope along the ledge here, up, across, this traverse and just past in and around here kind of the trickiest section then you keep climbing up then you're more in the boulder and the and the trees and then you essentially just follow the ridge a hundred plus meters up to the top all right Alex kick some butt I'll give you some space So yeah, you can see where good footholds are. Yeah, it wants to swing. Yeah, it does. Just from where it's pivoted. Yep. All right. That fly was really annoying. Yeah, there is, the trail looks like it can be a number of different ways. But to me, this is the best way. I know, and oh, I can see some people down there. Quite a few of them. Yep. Awesome job. Nice, you use those roots, yeah. My GoPro. East line. Nice, Mikey, take your time. Nice. Little traverse here. And then we're in the trees and the roots. Definitely want to take your time. Be safe. Hey. I'm just letting people know. Camera, no, take your time. Be safe. Yeah. And uh, I think the part we just came through is the most exposed of the scramble. <coughs> and now, still steep stuff, but things you can hang on to. Yeah. Yeah, this stuff is good. Even though it's steep, it's things you can hang on to.
one third up at the south face of the west line. Mikey. No. No? Okay. Yeah, you're right. Follow the, the sticks. I'd rather follow the sticks. Yeah, for sure. Nice, Mike. Use those handholds. Take your time. Nice. The, there's the, yeah they are, but they're a little bit of ways. There we go. Squeeze the backpack through there. Uh huh. Some of these roots coming up are a little funky. The dry ones anyway. All right, about 15 minutes of good, safe scrambling, taking your time. And we're about two minutes, maybe a minute from the summit. Oh, are we? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we had a, a group of three come down just before us. And uh, yeah. Just sharing the path.
heck of a climb. Summit, a voice line. Nice, Mikey. Oh, look at this camp spot. Ready. We just had lunch. Time to first, yeah. Time to get off the. Oh, definitely than I do. Time to get off the west line and continue on the House Sound Crest Trail. Last look at the east line. I line with it. Coming down. Taking our time. Card is full. Mikey just coming up from the west line. How do you feel? Like I'm glad it's over. Yeah. It is a scary climb. You gotta take your time. There are some very exposed parts. I'm looking forward to that footage. Yeah. So be safe. Let's see what it shows. Um, but now we got another, what is it? 10, 20, 18 kilometers to finish the trail. Yeah, 18. So, let's do it. I remember I was telling you, I'm like, Golden Ears is a three. This is like a six or seven. Yeah, for sure. There it is, 10.5K. Just on the other side of the west line. So, 19.5K to go. All right, so we cleared the middle of the two lines. Trying to make up some time. Especially because I was so focused. Yeah. Like I was looking at the rock. That's right. I wasn't really like like right now you can look around and You were thinking about your life. I said a little prayer there. Yeah. Alright. Get me down the mountain. So. so working our way down these bouldery, small to medium to large and pebbly section. Slippery, so taking our time. Let your food digest, hey? Still bothering you? I was lightheaded that person. Oh, really? Yeah. Climbing up? Yeah. Whew. We're taking a little break. We're on kilometer 13. 220 so we just got this mountain hill to climb uh, and then one more and then I think we're at the meadow then hopefully a little bit of water enjoy the views and quicken that pace so I think we have about three ish to four kilometers until we get there and uh, yeah, then it should get pretty good. Mm -hmm. Well, I'd say we walk. He knows we're here. Yeah. We're walking by our... There he is, right there. Yeah. You see him? Right here? Yeah, I see him. Papa Bear.
Oh, he's on his two paws. No, I don't. Is he covering your trail? I don't know, but he was up on two paws behind you. I think he's eating his blueberries. I think what would be worse if there, if there was other berries here. He's doing his thing? Nice. He just went down? Nice. First bear encounter, that was like eight meters away. I've just seen him. I'm We're coming up to Magnolia Meadows. Probably at least 400 meters until we take the corner. And then we're in the meadow. Hopefully we get some water. And uh, then we'll see the cabin. Emergency shelter. The magnolia or magnesia? Oh, my, I think it's magnesia. And then... Yeah. I think that was really weird that it's called magnesia. Uh-huh. Magnesia. Yeah. I like magnolia better. I like magnolia better too. We just saw a black bear 10 minutes ago. Little guy. I didn't see that part, but he wasn't too scared and I don't think neither were we. I think he was just checking you out. Yeah. There's a snow patch that we saw earlier. Yeah. We were going to do Mount Brunswick, or Brunswick Mountain, but we're no longer going to. Just going to finish the trail, head down to the car, get a burger, go home. Beer. You could use a beer. I could use one, yeah. And then a nice shower, Maybe even a bath. watch a movie, and that's a good Saturday. Only thing better is going home, hanging out with the little guys, and my wife Anna, and chilling. It's nice because Mikey and I live a minute and a half drive away from each other, so he doesn't have to drive far to drop me off. I don't know if I'll have the energy to come inside. Oh, I, I don't expect you to. I don't know if you'll... Good thing your building has a... Oh no. Are you on the second floor? No, you're on the first. Uh, you got to take your own stairs up. Yep. So, you'll be feeling that. Uh, I think I'll feel it tomorrow more. We summited the West Lion, came through the middle of the West Lion, down and up and down and up and down and up, up this mountain, which don't know the name of, down, and then up this trail, and then yeah, we have about maybe 200 meters, 250, to go on this trail upwards, then... Then we should start to see the meadow, and uh, I think there's a couple beers waiting for us there. So, huh. so just barely. What is it today? September eighth, twenty nineteen. Just barely a little bit of snow melt still coming down these rocks. So we're gonna find a spot to fill our bottles and. Enjoy the drink. We found our little water source. We got lucky. 
lagi There's a little lake here Pretty cool stuff It'd be nice to go for a swim in the summer but bring a floaty up here and just chillax on the water Yeah But this is beautiful Here's the cabin It's an emergency shelter so if you come up here you should bring your tent These are designed for emergency use but at the same time if you don't bring a tent and plan on staying in the cabin in the shelter know that there might be other people as well we'll see if there's anyone inside oh mikey's running hello Tent here, a couple cooking things. You got a bunk bed, and of course, the window up there so you can open it and not have to dig in in the winter. One here as well. The one we slept in. Yeah. So, Pretty good. good job, guys. So, Mikey was just saying. Not only summiting the west line did it add an hour to our day, but there was a cumulative effect. Obviously being a little more tired, but your muscles stiffening up in certain spots, which has an effect on the later day now. Um, so that's interesting. It look good. Oh, it's beautiful. It's 426 right now. And the house sound looks great. You can see parts of the Sea to Sky Highway below us. A bit of Lions Bay, Horseshoe Bay, Bowen Island, Gibsons. And then in the very back, it's too hazy to see, but Vancouver Island. Whew. We are on our way down to the lakes. Let's do it. Taking a small detour. Enjoy the fresh water. Be nice. Woo! That is a better source than we had before. Okay. Dealer's choice. I think they are. I think so. I doubt it. I'm gonna tell me that water. Yeah. Vamos. So we just saw two more black bears, little cubs. Once they heard the bell, they ran off. Um, they heard my deep voice. No, no, that's right. Once they heard Mikey's deep voice, they did not come near. They they ran off. Um, so we're not running now until we get to the lake, and just to be safe, we're not going to spook them. And uh, yeah. That's right. So hopefully we're just doing our thing down to these three lakes. 
So, second height here, same idea. It's cool that your color with that sort of clash well. Let's try a video. You ready to boogie? Coming up on kilometer 20. Just under 5.30, so we got this. Coming down from our first lake, Brunswick Lake. We're running down to the second one. Lake and a waterfall all in one. So we're on our way to Deeks Lake now. And uh, I've been there quite a few times. My brother has, I think, been there once or twice. Um, yeah, and it's just kind of, it marks the big descent down, which is nice. It means we're getting close to the car. Made it to the other side of Deeks, Deeks Lake. Last good little break. And then down for the last six kilometers or so. Coming down from Deeks Lake on Deeks Trail and we're both feeling pretty good. The descent isn't too bad. Oh, this is perfect. This is great trail. That means we're along with 26. Woo. 4K left. Is this the way we're going? <laughs> yeah. All right, 3K left. We have about, we have about a kilometer and a half left. And then we're at the car. We've decided to sit on this perfect bench. Yeah. And chill. Maybe this is the detour, look. There we go. A heavy machinery ahead, do not proceed. Please follow the mark trail. Yeah. I'm glad we didn't go left at the last place. At least looks like lots of people have uh, walked it. This is the new trail to Deeks Lake and the House Sound Crest Trail. So we just gotta keep going down, follow the highway, and our car's waiting for us. Finishing the trail for the House Sound Crest Trail. And this is the new update right off the highway. Kicking ass and taking names. Nice, Mikey. <sighs> you did it. <sighs> Pop that trunk.